What's the most ridiculous reason you've been dumped for? Story 1. A disagreement about whether a milkshake was ice cream. It was winter, 2 a.m., I'm driving her home. We're talking, having a good time, things are great. She says she wants some ice cream. Where in the heck am I going to get that in this season at this time of night? So I stop in a fast food place and order a milkshake, the closest I figured they had, and she gives me a dumb look. Our conversation goes something like this. Well, that's not ice cream. It's the closest I can get you right now. You don't want it? No, I want ice cream. That's not ice cream. All right, then no worries. I'll take you home. I'm not even sure why you tried to get a milkshake. Do you not understand what ice cream is? Uh, it has ice cream in it. Just a little extra milk, too. No, it's not ice cream. Why would you do that? It's no big deal. Sorry it didn't work out. Let's change the subject. Oh my god, you always do this. Anytime you're wrong, you refuse to talk about it. The conversation escalated. She refused to drop it no matter how much I insisted it wasn't a big deal. And when I finally got to her dorm, she hopped out of the car, slammed my door, and blocked me on social media. Haven't spoken to her since. We had a similar fight about whether maroon was red earlier in the relationship, but somehow we managed to recover from that one. Story 2. Can I do the most ridiculous reason I've had to dump someone? Started dating this girl. She's like 29 with a master's degree. Really sweet and cute, so I'm excited about the potential. On our third date, we were driving to a late night event at a science museum, and she asked what I was most excited about seeing. And I said, I've always enjoyed the dinosaur fossils. And she said, oh, and got real quiet. After five seconds of silence, I asked if she didn't like dinosaurs or something, and she said, uh, it's not that, it's more than, well, I'm not sure how I feel about dinosaurs, which led me to ask, um, by feel, you mean you, and she said, well, I'm just not sure if they're real. Beat. I look over quizzically. She continues, like, they're not mentioned in the Bible, so I don't know if they existed. I tried to get through the night, and to be fair, there were some decent jokes, when we were walking into the natural sciences wing, there was a picture of Darwin on the wall, and she said, Hey look, there's your best friend. And later we were standing in front of a skeleton of a raccoon, and I said, So just to be clear, your position on raccoons is yes, no, maybe. She was a pretty nice girl, and we had fun on the first two dates, so I tried to tough it out, but the dinosaur thing just ate at me for days. Like a week later, I called her from the office, and this was our conversation. Me. Look, we gotta talk. I don't think it's gonna work out for me. Ten seconds of silence. Her. It's the dinosaur thing, isn't it? Me. Yeah. Yeah, it's the dinosaur thing. Story three. I was dating a guy whose parents didn't like me. It was a long-distance relationship, and so mostly chatted online, but also made occasional phone calls. So we were talking on the phone, and at one point I said, You shouldn't have to choose between me and your parents. The conversation continued, and we decided to break up. We stayed friends, something like 10 years later. We were talking online when the subject of our breakup came up. Turns out, he thought I had said, you should have to choose between me and your parents, and decided that he wasn't going to do that. I would never give someone that kind of ultimatum. That would be ridiculous. It blew my mind that a single misheard word caused us to break up, and we didn't realize it for 10 years. I was dating a girl in college. After a month or so, I told her that I loved hanging out. We were out somewhere, and she looked at me funny, but smiled, and we carried on with the date. Not long after, she suddenly has issues meeting up, and I eventually hear through a friend of hers she doesn't think it'll work out. I decided not to pursue the issue, even though I thought things were going great. Roll on six odd years later, bump into each other, long conversation later, it turns out she thought I had said I loved her, and she thought it was all too soon, and panicked. So, could have all been averted if we had a conversation about it, but never mind. Story 4. This happened when I was 21, and the girl was 22. She was Hispanic, and I'm white. We were in the phase before a relationship, so I guess we were seeing each other. Anyway, we got along great, and to this day, I still think she's just an amazing person with a heart of gold. We were out to eat one night at Applebee's, and the conversation of food came up. We discussed our favorite foods, what we didn't like, etc. She mentioned something about trying new things, specifically things like Rocky Mountain oysters, bull testicles, frog legs, etc., I'm a relatively picky eater, admittedly, so I told her I didn't think that I could try any of those things. The rest of the night went on just fine, and I didn't think anything of it. A couple nights later, when I was talking to her on the phone, she said she didn't think we should see each other anymore, because she believed that I'm prejudiced against other people's cultures because I won't try any of their traditional foods. I was kind of blown away, but she had already made up her mind, so I wasn't going to stop her. 
I still keep in touch with her from time to time, even though she now lives 3,000 miles away. Too long didn't read, girl dumped me because I wouldn't eat bull testicles. Story 5. Finally grew a spine and started thinking about the big brain upstairs. Got into an argument over trying to initiate uh, intimate time. Was trying to do everything she told me to. Got blown off and showed my frustration. I said, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to do everything we talked about and you keep pushing me away even more now. She said, you are a 25-year-old man. You should just know what I want and how I want it and when I want it. So I replied, let me get this straight. You want me to just know exactly what you want and exactly when and how to go about it? Reply, yes. I said, babe, that's called reading your mind and no one in the world can read minds. I came home from work at midnight, mind you, and was told, pack your stuff and move out. I'm impossible to deal with. I was told I should be able to read minds just because I was 25, and I said that's impossible, so I was dumped and thrown out. Story 6. After going out with this guy for six months, I asked him if we were dating, and he immediately ghosted me. This has always been so weird to me. My friend has been dating this woman for over a year now, and they still won't call each other girlfriend-boyfriend. But this man is 39 freaking years old. It doesn't stop with these guys. It's so weird, you have to sort of slide into a relationship. You can't just ask someone on an early date, do you want to try and see if we can have a relationship, and then you're a couple until you break up. I met a woman from Thailand when I was 23, and she wouldn't even kiss me before I asked her to be my girlfriend. It seemed awkward at the time, but I actually like it a lot more. To me, it's idiotic that you mess around and share intimate details of your life, and then have to wait months and months to have the talk. Story 7. In high school, I'm missing my left index finger, and we're holding hands while walking through the halls between classes. She abruptly let go of my hand and said that it was just too weird, and the relationship wasn't going to work out. We'd been dating for like four hours at that point. Person, looking back, I'm pretty sure what she wanted to say was, you're too boring for me, or we're too different. But she ended up saying I was too serious. It did sting a bit, and had me reflect on how I behave around people. Am I too negative or reserved? Stuff like that. While we had different interests, those differences did give us a lot to talk about. I liked her relaxed perspective on things. Story 8. Because I wouldn't drop the restraining order on him. Apparently me calling the police on him to get him out of my house, putting a restraining order on him because he was trying to end my life, and then calling the police on him when he broke the restraining order didn't mean we broke up. It took standing in front of a judge to extend my restraining order for him to tell me, whatever which, it's over. Because I guess I was just joking with everything else. Well, what do you expect when you send him so many mixed signals? The man's not a mind reader. Story 9. Not me, but one of my friends, who's a senior in high school, got dumped by her boyfriend, who she dated for almost two years. He dumped her because he didn't want to go to the school dance. A few days later, he texted her to tell her that he wanted to get back together, but she declined. He could have just told her that he didn't want to go and still be with her, or just go to the stupid dance. That's in one episode of Malcolm in the Middle. The girlfriend finds out that Reese is trying to pick a fight with her to avoid the dance. She makes him go anyway and dumps him right after. Story 10. Apparently I gave too much anxiety when I bought her a coffee that morning and she broke up with me the same week. Edit, I gave her the drink in front of my locker in high school before class started, but I didn't buy her a coffee, it was a hot chocolate. Where I'm from in Canada, getting someone a coffee can mean just any drink. I got her a hot chocolate because she was a picky eater and didn't like coffee or tea but I liked her and wanted to surprise her with a warm drink on that cold day. Story 11. My first girlfriend told me once that I loved my dog more than her. I said that I did, and she didn't talk to me for a week, which at the time felt like an eternity. We ended up getting back together for another month. She broke up with me because she found these guys at the flea market who were hitting on her, gave them my number, and they called to fight for her. I said no. I'm sorry, what the frick? That's ridiculous. She wanted you to go meet a group of guys to physically fight them for her? Like, physically fighting? What the frick? As everyone else is saying here, dodged a bullet. Story 12. Not dumped, but shut down. I asked her out, and she sort of freaked. Like, on a date? A date date? Oh, shoot. I want to say yes, but I can't. Every time I've dated a guy I liked, we ended up hating each other. But I want to, but I can't. So, I know, you're my gay friend. I can't date you because you're gay. Awesome. I have a gay friend now. Oh, shoot, I'm late for class. Bye. I was like, what? What the frick just happened? The other people of our social group were similarly confused. Are you gay? Did she just make that up? Confusing as frick. Story 13. Dated a chick in my early 20s. We partied a lot at the time. 
One night, I refused to get into her car and go for the drive home since we were obliterated. She got upset, said, screw you, this guy, I'll be fine on my own. Received a call from her 36 hours later. She'd been bailed out of jail already. This guy, you're a freaking butthole. It's your fault I went to jail. I'm breaking up with you. I hung up and giggled. <laughs> what a perfect ending. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 14. My ex's cat was named Ben. The girl I was dating was named Bundles. One day I called Bundles Ben. She asked me what I just called her cat. I thought about it and then remembered that was my ex's cat's name. I laughed and told her and she was super unimpressed. Broke up with me the next day. And this is why I'm still surprised my husband didn't break off when I called him by my ex's name within the first four months of our relationship. Story 15. On the surface, it sounded okay. My girlfriend and I were kind of fizzling out, but when she dumped me, she said it was because I was not religious enough. She wanted to go to church every Sunday and for major religious holidays. I was okay with her going, but I was conflicted about religion at the time, so I didn't want to go. So that is what she said when she dumped me. Seems like a decent reason. What made it ridiculous is that about six months later, she was dating the president of the college atheist group. Story 16. I don't feel a spark of anything when we kiss anymore. At that time, I got hit in the mouth with a bat and couldn't kiss her for the past month. If you don't want to be with me, just say it, or at least come up with a better lie to dump me over. For a moment, I thought a bat flew straight at your face. Perhaps this one had a broken sonar or some stuff. Then I realized what bat you were talking about. Story 17. Didn't hold her hand in the car at night during a storm on the way to dinner. I had also never been to the area and was unfamiliar with it. On that night, she did me a favor by breaking it off. What a nut. I was going to end it the next day because of that being an issue, but she beat me to it. Obviously, we had some other issues, but that ultimately was the argument that ended things. Story 18. Two stories for this one. Not sure which is more ridiculous. Number one, because I didn't want to wake up out of a dead sleep at 3 a.m. and walk two miles in the cold spring weather to go to a freaking elementary school so she could use the swing set. Number two, because I said Scarlet freaking Johansson was pretty, as if I would in any life have a chance with her. Story 19. The guy I was dating broke up with me because he had family problems. I was all like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm here if you need me. Two days later, I found out he lied and asked out one of my best friends, and she said yes. About a week later, I asked him why he dumped me, and he left me to read. Did you ask your best friend what was up? That's shady of both of them. Story 20. My first wife dumped me because she said her boyfriend was around to spend more time with her and her son. I was deployed to Afghanistan. This was all several years ago and really is just ridiculous to me now. I'm remarried to a great woman now. Story 21. God told me not to date you. I'm sorry. And guess what? This happened twice with two different girls. You need to find God, bro, because he's clearly got a problem with you. Story 22. My fifth grade boyfriend dumped me over Xbox Live. It wasn't working out, Candace. Every time we pushed, you wanted to camp. Every time we rushed C, you went to A. Every time we called an airstrike, you wanted a care package. And the list goes on and on. It wasn't meant to be. Story 23. Shared this before here, but this has and will always take the cake for me. College girlfriend's dad won $1 million in the state lottery over winter break, broke up with me over the phone, telling me, now that I'm rich, I can't afford to date regular people like you. That's really the only thing wrong. You're just regular. Story 24. I'm not ready for a relationship. I thought it was a bad time to bring that up since we were engaged and had been together for almost two years. What the actual frick? She didn't think she was in too deep after the first year? Story 25. You didn't help me or support me with anything. I spent most of my time doing her job on the horse farm and doing extra work on top of that so she could focus on competitive riding. Jokes on her, my significant other is so much better than her. Story 26. We were 14 and I wore a tank top for the first time in his presence. Turned out I had way more cleavage than he was comfortable with and he dumped me over the phone. What the frick? Of all the ridiculous reasons. Story 27. When I was 12, we played spin the bottle and I made a kissy moi sound before we kissed. An hour later, she sent her best friend to my soccer game to break up with me. Honestly, can you blame her? Story 28. One of my exes dumped me saying that he wanted to be like Paul from the Bible. He was, of course, referring to Paul being single and abstinent. But the kicker is that about a month later, he had a new girlfriend. Story 29. My boyfriend broke up with me because he was moving away to go to puppet school. It was clearly your fault because you wanted no strings attached relationship. 
<laughs> Seriously, though, sorry for your breakup. Story 30. I love you so much and want to spend the rest of my life with you. We have to break up. If it's really meant to be, then we will end up together again, like they do in the movies. Have you ever seen the movie Saw? Story 31. X wanted me to drop out of my master's program six months before graduation so I could work at Walmart for the rest of my life. And it hurt his feelings. I had a higher degree than him, so him being ridiculous made me dump him. Story 32. Made a girl smile too much. She had braces and it cut up the inside of her mouth. All she has to do is put wax on her braces. It's not even difficult to get. Wax is standard when it comes to braces. Story 33. I wish I still had the text. Long story short, she was mad I didn't grab her butt in public on our first date. What the frick? You for real? Story 34. A guy I dated texted me that I wanted a relationship, and she's not ready for that right now. It was actually because she was taller than me and was afraid of what people would think. I met my wife a week later. Story 35. We have to break up. I mean, we can't even get married. You're allergic to fish. She chose the occasional tuna sandwich over me. I laughed and still tell the story, so I guess it's a win. Story 36. We were dating for three or four months, and I came over while he was on acid, and then a couple days later he told me that, while stripping, he realized I was the antagonist in his life, and that we're breaking up. Story 39. I got dumped because the headlights on my car didn't come on automatically when I started my car. I'm assuming he had other reasons, but this is what I was told, and I love laughing at it. Story 38. Second grade. Been dating for a few months. All of a sudden, she breaks up with me. I ask why. Well, Richard is just more interesting than you. Sticks with me to this day. Story 39. He dumped me because I cheated on him in his dream. I think he didn't have a reason to break up with you and invented that one. Story 40. The girl told me she thought this boy who had a crush on her for a long time was going to ask her out. She said this to me, her then boyfriend. Story 41. When I was in year 6, 6th grade, my girlfriend dumped me because I was too black and I was killing her vibe. Charlotte, if you ever read this, I hope you burn in hell. Story 42. Because I asked her if, for once, I could talk about my day. Nope, not an option. Looking back, thank God that happened. But the fallout is still immense. Story 43. You are too normal. And then she went back with her ex. An ex-convict pusher who thinks that a shiner is an act of love. Story 44. She found out the truck I was driving was owned by my mom. Guess it was a dump truck. Story 46. She thought I ended her horse's life. It wasn't actually her horse. With voodoo. It hung itself. Because I was jealous. It was a horse. Story 46. I said, love you. She got mad I forgot the I. Oh no, how could you? Story 47. I was 17. He was 19. He said Jesus told him to break up with me because I was too much of a temptation. Story 48. I, a 14-year-old, wouldn't take her, a 14-year-old, virginity, in a Burger King bathroom. Welcome to Ireland. Story 49. His behavior suddenly changed. When I questioned it, he dumped me. This happened a few days ago. Story 50. Actually, I had a guy dump me because I'm a carpenter, and according to him, it's just not ladylike. Story 51. I was too clingy. She got mad every time I hung out with anyone that wasn't her. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.